Hello everyone, my name is Reclusive Z, and I, after completing Stalker Clear Sky Last Fallout Overhaul, am now going to be starting up the, uh, the next chapter of uh, my Stalker fun. I'm playing Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl, but in the Radiophobia 3 uh, mod. This is a very heavy uh, standalone mod pack does quite a few things on its own. I've come through here, I've made my adjustments to basically keep my game running steady. Some of these can only be adjusted once I'm in game, so once I'm in game, I'll do that. Got my controls set up. Um, I have re-implemented the English audio for certain aspects of the game, just because I prefer the English over the other half, or over the Russian, so. But yeah, after the slaughter that was, uh, me thoroughly being trounced in the, trounced in the last half of, uh, the LFO mod, I'm certainly hoping Radiophobia goes better. I played a little bit just to make sure everything works and doesn't crash out. So we're going to jump back in at Hardcore Survivalist. Death would have saved him from the dreams. Let's go and see what value Sidorovich will put on your head. What have you got? A body. It came from the death truck. It's got the mark. Well, you know the drill. Leave him on this the... This is a live one. Bullshit. You are lying. Let the zone take me if I am. Put it here. I think for this one... I can give you... So, marked one, I saved you. And I'm not going to pretend I did it to win favors upstairs. You do some job for me? Besides, keeping you busy might be a good way to deal with your amnesia. And I'll see what I can find out about your problem. 
I don't give a shit why you want to find this Trella guy. I mind my own business. And if you want to kill him, well, you must have your... What are you standing there for? Come closer. I don't bite. It feels so good being back in this game. And it looks pretty good considering it was made back in 2007, but, you know, this is a standalone overhaul, so they've put a lot of work into it. And I, as much as I wanted to play with everything in Russian, I just, this is nostalgia. I like the English voice actors. The choice is yours. Either I brainwash you like I usually do with all the rookies, or I treat you like a real stalker and I give you a mission straight away. I know what I'm doing. I don't remember if this is actually a part of the original game where they don't trust you because they will block you. I know that you didn't get an echo detector or a walkie-talkie back in the day. So in the original, I think, was from 2007. Radioactive stone blood. This also seems to be a side quest that wasn't part of the first game either. Sidorovich has basically been robbed. And, uh, yeah, his inventory is, uh, pretty much cleaned out and barren and everything is relatively expensive because I'm playing on the hardest difficulty so it'll give me a reason to collect bodies or uh, loot and stuff like that because that was a problem I had in Clear Sky I usually had more money than I knew what to do with and then I'd spend it all on just upgrading my equipment continuously So nice. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I feed my reptiles dubia roaches, and they're all eating right now, and it seems one of them somehow not only escaped the glass bowl I put it in, but also my boy's habitat. Surprise me. It's like, what is on my leg? So... We don't have a headlamp, we don't have... We don't have a lot of things, but at least we got a detector. So this is Creature. He's part of the Sidorovich storyline about why he's missing all his stuff. I took this one a little bit, you know, not to completion or anything like that, just to see what it was like or what it entailed, and it's it's pretty neat. As I said, the village won't let us in. And I'm pretty sure they get lethal if I try to break in. I don't remember if Sidorovich had a guard, but it is pretty interesting seeing there's just a guy here in exo armor. Most of this can be read by all of you if you want. I've already read through it, or I'll read through it while I'm editing. This is for the creature. I'll have to ask Wolf when I can get into the village. Oh, yeah. It's real weird seeing a detector. It's not normally, uh... Okay, that's a fence. 
But as I play, I may end up installing other add-ons that they have available for this, maybe textures and stuff. That is a death tree. I came across that, those bees, anytime you hear those, they're, they're just death. Their audio isn't overly good, but they're death. And since I am playing on the hardest difficulty, this game is actually survival modey. I already found this artifact when I was here previously. Is you can bleed out. Med kits won't really heal bleeding. It's it's got all sorts of stuff. Jagoff's shooting at a military helicopter. Damn, that lightning was loud. Over here. Yep, there are the numbskulls that shot at, uh, that helo. Uh, help me, brother. Take the med kit off the stiff. I can't thank you, marked one. You're okay, you know that? You should tell everyone at the camp that you helped me out. I'm going to save my game real quick, come back in here as I said under game. I want to turn off hit effects, but I want to turn that on. Dynamic news is interesting, it basically makes the world feel like it's alive. You'll see uh, um, the random broadcasts on the left. I don't know if that's other players or what, I, I don't know how this mod works to do that or if it's just got a storyline it cycles through, but it makes things seem alive. Turn that off because it makes stuff annoying. Go back, turn on the blowout. Apply, then you gotta save. And reload. But yeah, occasionally across the left side of my screen, you'll see, uh, yeah, those connecting PDA, connecting to the server. And uh, when certain stalkers die, it'll actually tell you, and like if Nimble died or that guy dies, it'll tell you where they died. Are there any dogs guarding this corpse? Yeah. There are corpses I loot early on, just from my testing. Usually get a good Taws. Get two Tawses. Got a knife and some ammo, too. And got an outfit! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't get that last time. Oh, save. Well, shit, and I can hold an artifact now. I didn't get that. I didn't know they dropped armor. Weapons all have durability, which is interesting. Similar to Clear Sky. Oh, he's got a shotgun, too. I'm walking away with three shotguns. I might tango with the military. I haven't decided yet. And another outfit. Oh, hot damn. 
That guy will make it to base soon and Wolf will contact me. Oh, you're not ready for me to go in, huh? And now I can go in. Что нужно, Сталкер? But I'm not ready to do that yet. And as I said, I may tango with the military just to get their gear. I have not decided yet. Older game, it looks good. Grenades, a light. There is a mass pickup, so when you find something of interest on the ground, as long as I'm holding use, it'll pick up it and everything around it. Which is really, really nice. Especially the pickup animation. Come on, Rover Danger Field, play with me. I don't have the ammo to waste on a missed shot. Oop, missed shot. I said I don't have the ammo and then I immediately did it. Um, knives do different things because you can harvest stuff off of the creatures. So, depending on how damaged. Ah, not damaged. Dogtail. Another outfit, holy shit! I'm gonna have to put these in storage. All right, ammo. I am, uh, I'm gonna keep saving my game. I've made this run three times, testing stuff out and learning stuff and just trying to make sure everything with this mod would function properly. Oh, there's a normal mode and a bright mode. Oh, did it? I don't know what that mode was. Did it burn out? No, it's just... There we go. Oh, if I hold it, it does that. Oh, that's neat as shit. I didn't know that. Oh, this game isn't there. This mod is neat. Well, let's see if there's some more armor. Because normally there's a there's secrets in this little town. So. Do some light exploring real quick. Sounds like the military's having a hell of a time, but I don't know why. In addition to the thunderstorm and the other ambiance, it always sounds like there's something stalking you. As far as I know, there's no way to recharge my headset, so... I have to take that with a grain of salt, because... And food, that's handy. Nope, the uh, military is fine. They're just. They're bitching about the stalkers again. Hi, Wolf. I protected one of your people. What do you got for me? No. Tolik, that was his name. Ooh, an army med kit. Oh, yeah, army med kit. Wow, 
now as a prone. Hey, vodka. Uh, Tolik needed that. I can handle his mission now. Now, if we go this way. Up here, save. Jump over here. Climb up through here. There's normally a box with armor in here. Or... Or it's empty. Oh, that's lame. This, this game brings back so much nostalgia, this one specifically, because this is this is what started it all in my love of the zone and just hanging out in a computer room with my brother, my sister, my father, all of us playing this game at the same time, not having multiplayer whatsoever. Car. And just listening to all the, 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 the background noise of us playing, dying succeeding my father modding this game to the old OGSR uh, old good stalker remake rebalance this fun time last drive last drive part three of information wanderers flash drive flash drive I don't know what that's for should probably not lose that Good news is it glows. Was well, glowing. Well, beds if I ever need to sleep. Why car? Open door, open trunk. Open behind transport. Open trunk. Tab. Oh. This might be a good place to store my equipment. Can I drive? Ooh, I can drive. I think. Um. Is there a button? Start engine, num nine for some odd reason. Huh. I, um. I don't know if I'll ever use that, but that's neat. I don't know what the hell I'll do with that. I'm down that gopher hole. Now there's this one over here. does that song sound f familiar and I can't I gotta run away I don't know if that'll be danger or not there you go Tolik vodka foot for you since this will be part of my video I'll have to remember this so when I finally make it to the wild zone wild territory Gates of a workshop. Modified assault rifle, spare rounds. There's just so much magic in this game. I should ask Wolf about creature. Nope, not yet. 
I should check on creature. Nope, not yet. Alright. Zadorovich it is. You got the loot. The one thing I do want to try doing is dropping all of this equipment that is fancy to me because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, he takes everything back that he gave you. So I'm going to drop those off first. I mean, he can he can have basically all he gave me was those in the walkie talkie. As uh, item lost, radioactive stone, headlamp and detector echo. Yeah, For some odd reason he takes those back. Got a job for you, Mark. I want you to find a stalker called Nimbo. He was carrying some very important information. He disappeared somewhere near the bridge. Find him. Dead or alive, I don't care. I need the flash drive with the info. Visit Wolf from the local camp and ask him. He certainly knows where that guy can be. A made knife. Still over here? Oh, it's still over here! Aha, beating the system. Because, uh, yeah, he doesn't have a detector in here. He does have a dosimeter. Or dos dosimeter. But that's expensive, so... Without that, I don't know how you're supposed to find, uh, artifacts. Especially since he doesn't sell one, and they're usually expensive. So I'm gonna hold on to a small stash of just equipment. Because, as I said, everything we have does break down over time. And I don't know what use the cigarettes have. Unhealthy. Increase your telepathy and stuff. But I'm not big on smoking. I don't know what the badges do other than they're worth money. Hold on to those because I think, you know what? I might as well hold on to the badges. At least some of them. Damn it, I don't know what uh, anybody's going to be looking for. Because there are quests where people want specific stuff. Like sometimes they want healing and... Damn it. Well, now I should be able to ask people questions. As I said, I really want to kind of pick a fight with the bandit camp, but I don't have nearly enough equipment. I could probably save scum my way through it. I'm taking them on in a variety of different ways. <laughs> Military's having such a hard time. It would suck for me to make it harder for him. Uh, nimble. I don't remember if he wanted me to find the crate of dynamite in the first game, or the uh, unmodded version of this. I don't remember. Ooh, he gave me a bit. Guys, I'm sending someone your way, so wing it. You may attack if necessary. Over. All right, Wolf, send him in. As long as he stays out of the way. Out. So armor penetration versus non, but it'll... Ineffective against armor, effective against armor. Um, I've already got the taws. Не в настроении я нынче трепаться. Let's ask about the poor guy behind the fence. So he tried to steal from Sidorovich. So basically, uh, they broke into Sidorovich's area, stole a bunch of stuff, and he got caught. So let's go see him.
Fred Fed Fedka, huh? So he's gonna play a joke on the merchant, Sidorovich. And that's they committed a crime instead. Yeah, basically set his bunker on fire. So he wants me to help clear his name. As it sounds like he was framed. Simply vanish. So this sounds like that space time anomaly in uh, Clear Sky that was above the bridge that transports you around. Sounds like he fell into one of those. Garbage dump north, huh? So, right there. Easy enough, I'll, uh, do wolf's missions and such, and then I will, uh, go figure out his space-time issue. I'm light enough equipment wise right now. Of course, I'm carrying an extra Taz. I should put that underground. Because I doubt I'll be carrying, you know, almost 200 kilograms like I was in Clear Sky, but. Guns are loaded. And they're ready for bear. That's aggressive. <laughs> oh, he's over here this time. In uh, my test of this game, he was over here. Oh. He moved. Oh, that's neat as shit. And he's, this one's actually got a team with him. Hello. Right down, man. Let me fill you in. Говори. I can hear Nimble from out here. You know what, I'll do it on my own. Alright, I will be right back. Uh, my ba my basmati rice was done cooking. And I'm letting it cool. Let's uh, see if I can do this without dying. <laughs> lean left, lean lean right, lean with it, rock with it. Now, if I remember correctly, correctly. The combat in this is not like Clear Sky. These guys don't have automatic knowledge of my location no matter what, and they have a tendency to go off of your last position. Also, most of the weapons are pretty accurate. None of the modification stuff that they were pulling in Clear Sky. 
At least that I know of. I don't believe there's any kind of takedowns in this game. Modded. I know there isn't in the unmodded version. That wasn't an early 2000s thing. I hear you, but I don't see you. Checking the loot. I want to at least get behind that door. Started this off already. We're outside. Oh, I can see through the wall. That's neat. Where are you at? It's one. Ooh, he was gunning for me. It's one. Does it still reload single barrel? Yep, it does. I'm bleeding, just slightly. Did I hit that one back there? I don't... Turn on my lights. This at harder difficulty, I'll be sca safe scumming a little bit because, uh... Restarting is just detrimental. I've seen him. No, 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 no. Up, 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 up. Oh, you grenade hucking bitch. I'm going to find you and I'm going to eat you. I think I added a fourth dot out there. Stalker died, bandit. I love that. I hit him a little. I winged him. Let's uh, grab a little bit of loot. So he's probably in here now. See if I can catch him on the other side. him at the Yontar, huh? He's either on the other side of this wall. Yep, he's on the other side of the wall. Is he running from me? 
He is running from me. Is he looting corpses? Stop running me in circles. None of your shit. Ooh, more bandit armor. All right. I don't hear Nimble talking. Stalker died. Bandit. That that active news cycle is great. I love that. I don't know why I turned that off. Um, back to max brightness. There we go. Uh, that corpse doesn't have anything. That one doesn't have anything. Nope. So this one. Yep. What pistol are they using? That uses 7.62 by 20. What? Replaces replaces the Nagant M 1895 revolver, huh? Macro PM in 1952. Macro PM. So that's an old weapon. Neat. I have learned something. All right, start uh, cracking crates, and hope I don't get my knife exploded or I bumped it off of a rock. I don't. I don't know. I don't hear Nimble talking. I think there's still another bandit out there. In which case, in my best interest. Yeah, I cleared him. To keep my shoddy out. Did I loot the guy outside the wall? I'm pretty sure I did. Just the little background noises, the dogs and stuff are great. The birds, the wind, the environment. Yep. All right, the combat already feels a million times better than Clear Sky right now because that was... I was able to actually get into cover and not just get him mutilated. This corpse made it outside. So sell a use PM. Dynamite's over here. Should really be checking for anomalies as I wander. Going to save me or what? Uh, that's a... That's... I don't know what the hell that's all about. And now it's not there. Just weird things happen occasionally, and I'll take small weird bugs over large catastrophic bugs. Hey, I owe you, brother. I could never thank you enough. Говори. Kept the socks flash drive. Cash exists, but it's only got one artifact. Oh. Find the perfect suit. Perfected suit. Okay. Uh, Doctor 3 Taz 106 med kit. Okay. So, where the hell is that? 
around here, maybe. I should search around for a stash to ammo. Oh, it tells me what uh, the stash has in it. Okay. Well, I'll go there after I do what's his name's quest. All right. I'm gonna go over there. And I'm gonna use this detector I fancily enough was able to keep. There's an anomaly right there. How far I've come since 2014, or 2007, I mean. That all seemed very excessive. I don't know what any of that was about. But I'm going to stick my head in here and see. Another outfit. Are outfits just plentiful? Like, what the hell? There's an army outside of animals. Ooh, I don't know what that is for. I thought I saw some goodies. Shouldn't have broken said box. Now I'm moving them. I did. I did see goodies. Got another jacket. And shit is just dying outside. Oh, that's a good find. I'll take that. That is an anomaly. That is a weapon repair kit. That is expensive. I almost completely bypassed that weapon repair kit. That a sucked ass to lose. So there is a loot drop in here with ammo. All right. I will be back when I found that. All right, I found it. It was on the roof. Oh my. Yeah, that's what I thought that ammo was. No, oh no, I'll, I'll be a stuck. Oh, never mind. Also, uh, gas can is explosive. It's worth 4,000. Just, you know, my little heads up. All right, well, I am going to roam my way over to the dump. And uh, I will start when I'm over there. Decided to uh, stop off at the main camp real quick, drop a bunch of gear, and talk to Wolf. We'll do it for all time. Ooh, stim pack. And his dynamite. I now have a scorpion v VZ.61. Ah, mentor. I don't remember him. He's in the village right now, staying in that red roofless house across the street.
making slight adjustments to my settings as I go just because um, yeah, as much as I enjoy the dull gray of the zone, there would technically be some life here. Some color. Unless you're colorblind, color just doesn't go away. Um, well, um, I guess I'm going to sell some equipment after I... Oh, well, I got plenty of ammo for that. Nice animation. Huh. So you're the back. Yeah, trade with me right now. Oh, that's some more money made. Stim pack improvised. Well, that's different. Well, I guess I'll keep the secondary pistol ammo for now. Well, that is my trading done. So I'm hungry and losing health, and I'm also thirsty. So that's something to be aware of. Let's talk to Mentor real quick. Oh good, my health is degenning. I had no idea I could lose health from being hungry. That's very survival-y. Well, kind of. All right, mentor. Что нужно, сталкер? That's the faction, huh? Black Stalker knows, huh? territory again, yeah. Holy crap, there's a lot of information. Совет, забегай. Говори. And uh, now I'm gonna head over the garbage dump, so I'll be back. All right, and back over here. Let's see what I find. A detector ain't going off.
They said he just vanished over here. I have a feeling that hum is what did it. Odds are, this is that. Oh shit! Oh, that's a blood sucker. I thought I pulled the trigger on him faster. Oh, I need my deagle. Okay. Well, let's see if I can be ready for his ass this time. I don't remember if I can shoot him while he's cloaked or not. Okay, these ones you can shoot while they're cloaked or they're phased out. Taking a trophy, you bitch. Okay. Let's sucker. How do you look? You mind flare Cthulhu looking mother. Bastard. Okay, well, that was handled. Far more effectively than I thought it would be. Mail jacket. Revised me me metallic chainmail sewn into its backing. Oh no! Ooh, unique. Well, I might be keeping that. I don't think what's his name is going to get that back. Fedka. Fedka. Ah, uh, I see. What everybody thinks of anybody who owns any kind of merchandise and does any kind of selling. He's allowed to be that way. That's how the zone works. Uh, yep, me completely and utterly threw the one dude under the bus. Okay. Anything back here? Looks like a ramp. I don't think I can get back here. Alright, well, that was a successful fight against the Bloodsucker. Watch the blood sucker cord on less than half less than half an hour ago. Orc stray. So where am I? Oh, this is over here. Okay. Thought I heard something. Not a gunfire that direction. Well, since I've already cleared that one area out, I am going to uh, wander around out here real quick, so I will be back when I find either something interesting or I'm back at, uh, stalker territory. Friggin' pseudo-dog jumped me out of nowhere. Whatever the hell this dog was that had teeth like iron and a body made of steel. The hell was that? It took two shotgun blasts and a bunch of dog tail. That's it. What about you? I'm pretty sure that's just a standard pseudo dog. Yep. Yeah, friggin' just exploring around out here. Popped that guy twice with the friggin' pistol, took him down. Put almost 16 rounds into him, the bullets started to bounce, surprised the shit out of me, and then I got jumped by a pseudo! There's boars over there! Well, at least I'm slowly healing. So, uh... 
Yeah, that's that. I'll be back. I have no idea what the hell this is. But like a right proper American, I'm going to shoot it a few times and see what happens. As one in doubt, fill it with holes. Okay, now I'm just curious. Instantaneous none. Mm, wow. Okay. I have never seen that before. Oh, yeah, I'll be back. All right, we'll turn in this body armor, see what he gives me for it. Hey, get back here. Taz 106, Doctor 3, Med Kit. Doctor 3. Okay. Taz 106. Death of the Chairman. Bolt action, single barrel, 20 gauge shotgun with a sliding breech bolt. No shit. Does that fit there? That fits there. Um. And. So the doctor only goes on it. No shit. Oh, there's a zoom. Oh, that's just beautiful. Yeah, it's a four round mag. Oh, that's okay. He can have the mail. I'm happy. I just got a pistol, shotgun, taws, and nope, I'm going back to the way I had it, with number four being... Well, I got a weapon repair kit, so I'm going to keep that in good action, or good health. 0 0.80 damage, 0 0.80. 50 versus 400. That is a very... That almost feels like a typo. High accuracy, though. 1,000 to 30, huh? Oh, hell. I'll give it a try. Got a nice bit of equipment out of that. We'll turn in this to, uh... We'll go talk to Creature first. Okay, so it just cycled back around. No. I try to put on some better armor. See how uh, Creature's doing now that I've told Wolf. And then I'll see Sidorovich and I'll see Creature Hello. again.
All right, examine the body. That is, uh... Hey, yep, over there. Sounds like I may be going to take on the military. How many shells do I have now? 20, huh? More than the 12 I had. As long as I'm under here, I'll be fine. I think. This is a blowout. Oh, it even scrambled my PDA! Oh, I must not be far enough underground. I was not far. Okay. I think my body will take care of the radiation. I'm not sure. Wow. I was not expecting that. You know what? Maybe there's someplace I can watch. Yeah, I'd really rather be watching this. So pretty much anywhere down here will be fine, but I kind of want to see stuff. This is neat shit. Even the sky outside is kind of all like hazardously snowy. Oh, and it went away. Double rainbow? Want to chat? No. Alright, so it looks like everybody's getting ready to move back out. Nope, sounds like the military's still complaining some about somebody's heads exploding.
All right. I think we're all still alive. Really? Let me out. Let me out. Let me out, the YouTube gods. Let me out. Day one emission, huh? Situation resolved. All right. Oh, you can repair stuff. I bring him a jellyfish. No shit, I can buy a car. Ah! Oh no. Oh, so the Zapor is. Oh, so that other car is meant to. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep this in mind. This game is getting. So. All right, so now I've got to find the loot that the other guy stole and pass off to somebody else. Can do. Destroy the bandit camp with the garbage. I can do that. Special missions, huh? Markova, I've done some thinking, and here's what I'd like to offer. Generally speaking, what you really need is to find Strelok, right? Man, here's the thing about Strelok. There's a stalker that goes by this name. They say he's found a path to the northern reaches of the zone. That is a virgin area, a real gold mine for artifacts. Anyway, I can help you find him. However, as you can imagine, it won't be a free ride. We'll have to work it off. But in the long run, we'll both benefit. You're going to waste that Strelic fella and find out what happened to you, and I'll find... Well, I mean... I'll get my share of our mutual profit. <laughs> So what do you say? Deal. All right, listen. You mean business, I can see that. And I... I mean... We need guys like you. We're doing sort of an investigation with some other traders. We want to open up a path to the north, to the center of the zone. And near the center, something or someone is trying to hamper our progress. How the heck this Strelok managed to sneak through, I don't know. Oh, I know how. see. There's this one area where your brain starts boiling, an eerie place. Anyway, to cut a long story short, a couple of guys have been spying on those grounds for me, not far from here. Apparently the ones at the Agroprom Research Institute have dug up something, something major. I'm positive that it has something to do with the center of the zone. Anyway, whatever they've dug up, it's secured somewhere in the third floor of the Institute. And we really need this stuff. Lunch with the briefcase, don't bring it here. Take it straight to the barman. He runs the stalker bar at 100 rads. I'll upload the coordinates and all the data you need to your PDF. Here. You'll need to go north through the garbage, then turn west. You'll end up at the Agroplum Research Institute after a few kilometers. Nope, doesn't affect that. Oh, the bird fell out of the sky. Alright. So... Dead in the firefight. Major, uh... Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov, I think. So I gotta take out the military. <clears throat> and I gotta go up there. How long has this video been? You know what, that's a good amount of time, so... Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If, uh, feel free to like and comment down below. It'll help me, uh... Gain a better understanding of my community and what you guys like and it'll help me figure out if you know I'm doing a good enough of a job or if there are improvements I need to make. So feel free to 
comment and tell me how things are going and if I've earned your subscription I'd appreciate that as well and uh we'll see you all in the next video bye